Hungary's Prime Minister, Viktor Orban, has claimed that Donald Trump told him he wouldn't give Ukraine a penny towards its war against Russia. The pair met last week in Florida, where Mr Orban says Mr Trump made the comments. Now, Viktor Orban is the only EU leader to have maintained a close, uh, close ties with Russia since its invasion of Ukraine. He's been a controversial figure in his 14 years in office, cracking down on, uh, amongst other things, the rule of law uh, in Hungary. Well, as Donald Trump runs for office again, there are fears that he might be taking a leaf out of uh, Viktor Orban's playbook. Two divisive figures with a special relationship. Donald Trump hosted Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban at his home in Florida on Friday, just as the race for the White House was getting into high gear. The two were full of praise for each other, as they have been in the past. He said, this is the way it's going to be, and that's the end of it, right? He's the boss. So Trump is the man who can save the Western world, and the, probably the human beings in the, in the globe as well. We don't know for sure what Trump and Orban talked about, but their meeting got a lot of attention in US media. Many are calling Orban an outright autocrat and are worried that Trump might follow his example and weaken the rule of law. With his visit, Viktor Orban has become part of the U.S. election campaign. We want to know what Hungarians in Florida think. Nearly 100,000 people in the state identify as a Hungarian. In this European bakery, just an hour's drive away, there is some debate about Trump and Orban. In a Trump party. I am pro-Trump, like most Americans are by now. The way I see it, there is no alternative at home but Viktor. Hungarians are following Orban like cheap. Orban is the leader, a god, that's what they want. But they don't see the whole country has been sold and stolen. Orban and Trump, okay. These two are good. A sentiment shared by many other residents of Florida, a Republican stronghold. Many here like the anti-elitist, tough guy image that both Trump and Orban project. I think he's a great leader in Europe. In, in, in a change, there's been, uh, in a sense, there's been a change across Europe where the people are starting to rise up again. Uh, populist leaders are gaining popularity because people are getting tired of suffering. People are getting tired of the elites. Recent polls show Trump is leading Joe Biden in the race for the presidency. Some U.S. commentators fear that Viktor Orban's illiberal rule in Hungary might be a blueprint for a possible second Trump term in the White House.